Hey, what is going on with it, bros? I'm in Browns and Packs. This is the one, the only. Nintendo Free 2011, aka Criticism Guide 2009. So, before I begin, hopefully, read the title above and below. So, uh, I'm going to read the description Golden Time. So, um, this is from Japanese um, JC Staff Studios, I guess, Japanese Creation Studios. That's the name of the company that ended up doing this um, anime. So, here we go. Tara Barari, um, a newly admitted student at a private law school in Tokyo, found himself completely lost after opening ceremony, trying to find his new way to freshman orientation. At that moment, he ran into another lost freshman from the same school. And uh, I went on to YouTube, I tried to find some stuff, so there's that one right there. This actually has a lot more of a bigger um, <clears throat> description right here. Blah, blah private law school stuff due to after effects of an accidental fall from the bridge shortly after high school graduation he lost all his memories from before then at the time of the accident Barmi so had escaped from his body and the spirit of Bari Tara came into being carrying his memories from before graduation Barani finds himself completely lost after opening ceremony trying to find his way to freshman orientation blah 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 I just read that Mitsuno Yaganaswana, Yaganishwani, I guess what it is, Yaganaswana, and they hit it off at once, so yeah, I guess those two, they fall in love and shit, somehow arriving at their intended goal just at one time, they appear in front of a beautiful girl holding a batik of roses, who hits Mitsuo across the face, and with his hands holding the flowers onto him, this stylish, well-dressed, and perfect woman, and his childhood friends, Coco Carca, as children, they had promised to marry each other one day, fulfilling their dreams in order, in order to escape from her. Mitsuno had gone out secretly and taken the examination for the well-known private college, but she also took the law school entrance examination, catching up with him there. It's on the Wikipedia and all that shit. I'll give you the link to the studios right there down below. So you can check that shit out yourself. So yeah, without further ado, let me um, put my overall thoughts and uh, speculation onto this thing, now shall I? So uh, yeah, without further ado on that, um, if I can find it. <laughs> golden Girls, oh my god. Not Golden Girls, Golden Time. This looks like a pretty interesting anime, I'm not gonna lie, you know? This looks very highly interesting, I don't know, fucking intriguing to my mind, uh, to say the least. <laughs> So yeah, basically what it comes down to, you know, it's one of those harems action. Well, it's not really no action at all. It's mostly like a harem romance comedy, if you want to put it like that. They made the anime really good. There's nowhere near hentai or anything like that, so try not to get the wrong ideas. Like I said before, it's not too impressionable for some people. For other fanboys, it might be. So uh, I guess the manga did pretty good. The ratings, as I heard, is pretty fucking badass. I don't know, I might read the manga if it ever comes out here to the U.S. if it ends up being translated into English. I know it's in the Japanese version, but of course I don't read Japanese, so that's not going to happen, unfortunately. So yeah, other than that, you know, um, seems like one of those harems you could definitely um, put all your, you know, ties and relationship with. If anyone's ever had relationship, like, um, issues and stuff like I have back in the days, I'm not going to really get into that. Maybe I'll do it on like a 200 subscriber special. Maybe I'll talk about that. But until then, it's not coming out from these lips. <laughs> from this mouth right here. So yeah, basically other than that, it kind of looks like one of those harems like I just said. And it has real life little purses like you saw there. Chanel. <laughs> Very high, well, expensive quality brand for women that love buying that shit. And thank God I don't have nobody with me to fucking buy that shit. I grow broke as fuck. I'm going to be able to pay the utility bills and shit like that. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty interesting. There's a lot of, like, cock tease things in this moment because, you know, it's a typical anime shy dude. There's a whole bunch of girls that are around him and he doesn't want them, which is pretty fucking ridiculous. That shows that, like, some Japanese dudes in real life, they could be weak as fuck towards really hot-ass Japanese girls. I mean, seriously, you know, I'm not going to really get into a discussion around that, but long story short on that, nobody in their right fucking mind, no man that's straight as fuck, straight as a fucking air in their right mind wouldn't refuse that. They'd go for all the pussy in there. Seriously. Sounds very immature and childish, but let's face the facts, people. You would go for that shit and you would hit it like a fucking boss. There's no fucking questions asked. Seriously. But, uh, yeah, it looks real funny. It looks pretty romantic. It has their little sweat moments, their little jokes, their puns, you know. 
It's actually based all on a college high not high school at all, middle school like a lot of anime schools are. Middle school and high school with the little dressy fancy uniforms and stuff. They do granted that they do have the um, dressy uniforms and stuff like that, but um, they don't really push it in your fucking face 24/7, and it makes you not want to have like want to break ties with the anime instead of like, keep enjoying the anime for what it is, you know, what the self purpose you know of indulging in it this anime is all about. So yeah, besides that, last but not least, my future thoughts on this, um, my final thoughts actually, is that, um, this is going to be a pretty decent anime, I'll probably give it a B-, minus. I'm going to be all balls to the wall, go ham off of it, saying it's crap, because I'm reviewing it, obviously, I'm not reviewing the actual anime, I'm just reviewing the trailer for it. it. Looks real funny, you know, I laughed a couple times at the little harem jokes, when she, like, she does that little kiss with her, like, fingers like that, or whatever, and she throws roses at the dude's face. I thought that was pretty um, clever right there for what you did. <laughs> but that's another strip tease for you. It's anime. What are you going to do? <laughs> In a good way, of course. But like I always say, peace out, bros and bros and packages. I will see you when I see you. Guys, have a good day. Have a good night wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed and don't <laughs> don't get high at the same time. One more other thing before I go and be doing a top 10 um, best YouTubers of all time. Shout out to the Brandon Bronson that actually he did his top 7 YouTubers. I'm probably not going to post it till Friday because um, I already did the video. But you know what? You guys are just going to have to be patient for that. That. And um, I'm going to be doing another video, which I haven't done. My top 10 best YouTubers all time there. But top 10 90s commercial there is also. So I already passed 120 um, subscribers. It's like 124 subs on my criticism, guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that if you haven't checked it out already. So, uh, yeah. Peace out. Be easy. Stay safe. See you on the next one. Um, talk to you later. See you next time, everybody, and uh, late. Goodbye, and I am out.